It's my lock anniversary. glad that you're watching this video I'm glad that you clicked this video if you are not subscribed to my channel right now you need to stop what you're doing and go subscribe right now it takes maybe a, a, a millisecond to subscribe to my channel I promise you the content is on point period I am finally 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 <laughs> finally at 12 months y'all finally yay without further ado here is my lock journey <sighs> so let's start this from the beginning in high school i had a perm just like everyone else but my 11th grade year i decided to go natural this is also around the time where i decided to shave half of my hair and bleach it red both of which my parents weren't crazy about. <laughs> From there, I started trying out different cuts, different colors, um, different styles, um, and even went into uh, doing sew-ins uh, with big curly hair and wavy hair. But eventually that got expensive, thus why I started my first lock journey. Now I started this lock journey with comb coils and I went from there. I spoke about this journey in other videos on my channel, but if you're new here, the reason why I started my locks over basically was because I ended up doing too many protective styles and thinning them out over time. As you can see in this photo, they ended up getting very weak. Don't get me wrong, I liked my loose natural hair, but I never really loved it. I never really got the hang of how to really style it, and I always knew I wanted to go back to locks. And that brings me to my current lock journey. Now, most of you know, I started these locks off with two strand twists and the diamond parting system. I was very specific with how I wanted to start my locks because I knew exactly how I wanted them to look once they matured. Um, throughout the first couple of months, as I mentioned before, I wore a lot of wigs, a lot of hats, and a lot of scars. As y'all know, month two was a struggle for me. It was a struggle. I would say month two and three were the hardest months to get through because you can't see a lot of progress. All you can see is a whole bunch of frizz. Um, you don't have a lot to work with. And this is where I feel a lot of people start getting discouraged. But just keep going, keep your head up keep your head wrapped <laughs> try out different protective styles as you can see in month four I did braids I did wigs I did everything through my journey um, and it really helped the time fly by month five is where I started getting a little bit more uh, thickness um, I really started to see them start taking shape and start um, becoming more firm and month six baby month six was when it went down. Month six is when I really started feeling like my hair looked like locks. I didn't really see much of a change in months seven through nine, but month 10 is where shit got real. My hair started thickening up. I started getting a little bit of length. They started firming out at the tips. It was just glorious. Therefore, you guys are going to sit through this lock porn because this was a very, very good hair day. From month 10, I've just completely been in awe at my hair growth and how far I've come. This is me throwing up gang signs for no reason. And now we're at year one, you guys. Year one. Um, I just wanna say, if you are thinking about starting your locks, do it. Just take the jump. 
It'll be the best decision that you've made for your hair in a long time. Trust me, you will not regret it. I want to thank you guys for watching my video. Thank you for always supporting and leaving comments and nice feedback. I appreciate the support. I hope you subscribe and stay tuned for my next video. Bye.